Have you ever heard people say you should love yourself? Do you remember how important love is? It's the source of all happiness in your life and the happiness in our world. So to love yourself sounds like a good place to start, doesn't it? Well, yes, that doesn't mean you immediately start going on about how great you are or think about how you beat someone else at a sport or some video game. And it certainly doesn't mean you should spend all day in front of the mirror looking at how beautiful you are. The highest love brings the highest and most lasting happiness, whereas lower love brings a temporary pleasure. You know how sometimes you feel that you love eating pizza or lots of ice cream? Then you eat it, but you eat too much and you feel sick. Well, that's a bit like a lower love. With a lower love, you feel happy for a short time, then it goes away. The highest love is much more powerful. In a second, it might completely change your life and make you happier forever. So to find the highest love, you need to remember a time when you felt a really powerful love for as many things as possible. Think about that for a moment, or even try it yourself right now. Try and feel from your heart a love that expands into as many things as possible. The trees, the flowers, the birds, your cat, your dog, your mum and dad, your brothers and sisters. The more things you can love in one moment, the higher your love will be. Now you might be starting to understand about loving yourself in the highest way. This sort of love is not about loving the makeup you wear or the jeans you just bought. This love is about seeing the part of you that is in everything. Just like the air that you breathe, in one minute it is your air inside your lung. In the next, your friend will be breathing parts of that same air. We are connected to each other by the love that flows around the whole universe. So the way to love yourself in the highest manner is to love the part of you that